Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to do an unboxing and install of the WeBoost Overland um, cell phone signal booster. Literature. Looks like we got uh, some two-sided tape, instructions. We might use those. Up. So this is the the amplifier. I believe this just comes off. Yeah. So you can just mount this up wherever you're going to do it, and then uh, this will snap right into place. Got the spring is going to uh, to help if you have it up and you hit anything. Looks like I uh, got old Allen Allen key and some Loctite mounting bracket cable. There's the antenna itself. That does not really weigh anything. That's kind of surprising. Looks like the internal antenna, mounting hardware. This is what's actually going to mount up on the truck. And this allows you to turn your antenna whichever way you want it. So if you're going to be going through trees, you can just lay it right down. Power supply. I'm not sure what that is. And here's the antenna extension. All right, so it looks like first thing we need to do is assemble this antenna. So that is going to run down through here. All right, so we got the uh, we got the antenna ran through the mast here. I'm gonna throw some Loctite on here. Alright, and then this is gonna be this is the side exit adapter. Just comes out the side, and then you just screw this right onto here. We're gonna wait and see where we're gonna mount this up at first. All right, so they give you these little track nuts that fits right in the this Yakima. I, I think they're Yakima tracks. Anyway, we're gonna try to mount this thing up right here. We'll see how it goes. Okay, next what we need to do is mount the uh, antenna. Go ahead and throw some Loctite on it. Get through here, attach this cable. And then this is going to run up into the truck. Got that on there. We'll we'll heat shrink that here after we're done. Right now, I just want to get this cable routed. I think we're just gonna go right underneath here. I'm just gonna run it all the way up under the rack, same as my my camera here. And there's a spot. There's a vent uh, in the cab that I can run this through the back. All right. 
running this all the way through here. All right, hopefully that's visible. So this is the front of the shell, in between the shell and the cab. There's a vent back in here. Behind this panel, there's a vent that actually lets air out when you when you close your doors. So I'm gonna run that through there, same place I ran the camera, and uh, we'll mount the. I'm gonna end up mounting that amplifier right here somewhere. So here's the vent on that back wall. I'm just gonna run that cord right through here into the cab. Alright. Just gotta get this put back into place. It just kinda pops in here. Go. So I think I'm just gonna mount that thing right down here. Seat closes up just fine, and I don't think it's gonna make enough heat to uh, to be an issue. I'll check it. If I'm wrong, I will move it. up all the wiring. It's, it's nice that they make these this mounting plate separate. That makes things a whole lot easier. Alright, so we've got, uh, we've got inside antenna on this side and then our 12 volt power on this side is outside antenna. Alright, Outside antenna is on. Okay. So the next thing we got to do is mount this in inside antenna. And they say you want to mount it at least 18 inches, but no more than 36 inches from where the phone is going to be used. So I'm going to mount it on my center console in the front seat somewhere. Obviously, don't mount it over where an airbag is going to deploy. Um, they do have this double-sided tape. And then we'll run this cord back here and hook it to the amplifier. All right, I identified a little bit better spot uh, for this internal antenna. So it also, we also have Velcro. Um, so I'm going to throw Velcro on the back of this thing. Stick the Velcro. I can't see that. Get to the back of it. And then, in the back seat of my truck, I got this little cubby right here in between the in between the front seats, and there's a carpeted spot right here. And then it'll just stick right there, and then I'll run the wire back up over there. All right, so we got the internal antenna ran back here to the amplifier and we are going to screw that in right here they give you more than enough cable for all this too which is nice and then our 12 volt will run right up to the same place where the internal antenna is at and plug in right there So WeBoost actually has an app, and you can uh, you can do some different tests. I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera or not. We're going to try. We're doing a test with the booster off right now to test the current cell signal. And it says negative 112 dBm. Okay. So next we're going to do a booster on test. I'm going to turn it on. So we got a green light. 
Booster on, connected. All right, let's see where this sets it. That says negative 107. I know it's not showing up. All right, there we go. So it says, congratulations, how much your signal improved? 216% stronger. Okay. I mean, I guess that's better than not 216% stronger. <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap this one up. Um, really looking forward to using this and I think in combination with the Garmin inReach 2 and we also carry a handheld CB radio that's 40 channels uh, with a weather band. Um, I think we got communication pretty well covered uh, for whatever situation we might be in. Obviously the next step up would be Starlink but uh, I can't justify spending 150 bucks a month or whatever it is on uh, on service that I'm not using every single day at that price. So I will uh, report back in the next video how it did this weekend down on the river. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit subscribe and stick around for what we got coming next. See ya.